And uh, now solve the uh, yeah, solution to C, which was asking the distance between two lines. So if two lines intersect, then the shortest distance is zero at the point of interse intersection, and we can equate both lines and solve for their parameters. So if we have the simple case where they, they actually intersect, so let's say you had a line like this, we'll call this uh, L1, and this one's L2, like that, and yes, that's L2, and so there's a point of intersection, so we can just equate them like that. So let's say we have uh, L, L1 is equal to uh, R, uh, the equation for L, L, L1 is equal to, this can be, we'll call this R2 equals to, um, like that. Yeah, R2, actually instead of uh, R0, I, I was call this P2, let's say it's a point on it, or vector of it to it, so P2, this is actually P1. 1, 1, a vector, plus uh, we'll call this T, and then we'll have the direction vector 1. And then this one here, this formula would be R2, equals to uh, P2 vector plus uh, S parameter, V2 vector. And this one again, the direction vector is V2 is like that. And let's say it has a point on it, the starting point is gonna be our P2, like this one. So that's our P2, this is point P1 on it. And then the number of the vector is just, is just going from the origin to this, that'll be P2 like that. I'll, I'll just, uh, Draw it for completeness. So again, if you have our x, y, this is going to be a y, z, x, like that. This is going to be our p2 vector. Or this is just our p2, is the point, and the vector p2 with an arrow on top. <laughs> Alright, so we have that, and this uh, direction vector is uh, going downwards. This is our v1, like that vector. And this is the point of intersection. And then this one, we just equate them and then solve for S and T such that all these are equal, such uh, yeah, we have the exact same point. So you set those equal to it. So we go R2, uh, yeah, R1 vector equals to R2 vector, solve for, uh, yeah, solve for T and S. And then uh, once we do that, we plug that in and then, uh, so if, if we can solve it, the distance is zero. Yeah, so going further. So uh, if there's no solution, then the, then the lines don't intersect. So then they're not, uh, yeah, they don't intersect. So we got to go further. So if two lines are parallel, then the cross product of their position vectors is zero. And we can solve the distance by the same method as with the distance between a, a point and a line. Yeah, so uh, what this uh, means is uh, basically, yeah, if, if so two lines are parallel, yeah, their cross product is uh, of their position vector zero because they'll be both parallel. Like, uh, so if we go back to over here, so what I'll do is, is let's say we have two parallel uh, vectors. I mean, two par yeah, two parallel lines. Let's call this line uh, uh, line one. It's gonna be line two. So this is parallel. So direction, their direction vectors. We'll call this v one and v two, like that. So if you were to take the cross product of them, you're basically gonna have a v one. Uh, like this, uh, V1, and the other one's going to be overlaid on top of it. V2, cross product is going to be uh, 0. V1 uh, cross V2 equals 0. Because, uh, well, also because the sine theta is 0. Yeah, so sine of 0 uh, would be 0, like here. Yeah, so sine of the angle zero, so that as zero uh, angle like that is equals to zero. And yeah, and uh, that's because the cross product the magnitude is equal to the area of the parallelogram, which has that sign in there. And here I just wrote this right here as well. So if two lines are parallel, then the cross product of the position vectors is zero because sine of zero degrees is zero. Yeah, so then we can basically, um, yeah, so basically we can just draw this out as parallel. And that means as well, we, if we had a point like here, I'll call this P1. And let's say we had a point P2. Uh, this vector here is the P1, P2 vector, like that. So then again, area of the parallelogram, if this is V2, I'll just draw this uh, a bit. Actually, we can, uh, it doesn't matter where you draw it, so I'll keep it at V2 like here. So the area of the parallelogram is going to be like this all the way across here. So there's our area. So this is our area. Area is equal to, yeah, let's put it here, area equal to uh, P1, Cross, yeah, this is P1, P2. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll write this out uh, later. So we have the area there, this is our area. And then this height's gonna be the, the distance across it. So I'll just draw it like this. 
So this is going to be our RD is our distance. And that distance is just going to be uh, the projection of P1. This is just going to be P1, um, P2, P1, P2, like that. Uh, and then times by sine theta, this is going to be uh, like that, sine theta. So in other words, this is the same distance across there, sine theta. Like that. And uh, again, that's because this is going to be uh, perpendicular, like that. All right, so that's perpendicular, that's the area. So in other words, we're going to get area is equal to, yeah, it's going to be the uh, P1, P2 uh, vector, yeah, cross product with, and we're doing that, it's magnitude of the cross product with the direction vector V2. And it's going to be the area of the parallelogram. And so this uh, cross product is going to equal to, uh, it's, we'll put this V2 in front so that we could put this P1, uh, this the length of them, P1, P2, line like that, and then it's going to be their sine theta. And this is again as our distance, so we could rearrange it. So distance, uh, yeah, distance is going to equal to, yeah, this is going to, and then move this over. So again, the exact same thing as before. So, so we have that. Now I'll, I'll, I'll keep writing it just for completeness so we can drive the point home on how to solve for distances between points and lines. And it's going to be uh, like that. And again, this equals to, uh, just for completeness, I'll, I'll bold this. This also equals to uh, P1, P2, sine theta. But we, do, uh, but we don't know sine theta. Yeah, we don't know what the angle is theta there. Yeah, but we could solve, solve for it, obviously. We could solve for it. You know, this point, this point, we could solve for this. But then we also need to know the direction vector. So direction vector matters. So once we had solved this, then we could throw that inside and solve uh, for uh, theta. All right, now going further. So if two lines don't intersect and are not parallel, then they are skew lines. So that's the only other alternative we have. And skew lines can be viewed as being on two parallel planes. Again, regardless of what the skew lines are, this is going to be on two parallel planes. And uh, here's a link to GeoGebra from my earlier video. And so here is a pair of skew lines. So it doesn't matter where you draw the line here. I'm just going to hide the plane right here. So let's say we had, and also hide this uh, direction vector. So let's say you had any any line like here, uh, and that doesn't intersect. So that doesn't intersect. That means there's going to be a gap that it never touches. And again, it doesn't matter what the the, the skew lines are, what the formulas are. If there's somewhere else, let's say it looks like this one here. Uh, basically, all skew lines could be um, viewed the same just by rearranging the axis. So again, so you can move it around like here, but then they can all be formed by parallel lines uh, because they never touch. So you're gonna you can always form a set of parallel planes. I mean, yeah, parallel planes like that. So we can draw two parallel planes across it. So there's the line, uh, the blue one, there's the black one, and they're on it. Does it doesn't matter what it is, you could always uh, get it. So if it's somewhere over here, the lines, you can just rotate it. I'm just showing you how that's always gonna be parallel. You're gonna, I mean, you're always gonna have two parallel planes making the lines. So if we have two parallel planes, uh, this means we could just use a distance between a point and a plane formula, yeah, uh, yeah, use a distance between a point and a plane formula by first obtaining the normal vector of the two direction vectors. Because once we have the normal vector, we basically have the equation of the planes for uh, either of them. Yeah, so this means, uh, as I went over my earlier video on distance between skew lines, all you need to do is find a point on one of the lines, and then uh, the distance will be to a, the plane that, that contains the other line. So in other words, the direction vectors included in that uh, cross product to obtain the um, direction vector. Yeah, so basically if you have a point like here to this plane that ha contains a blue line there, it's the same thing as this, containing this blue line, blue plane right here, but this this one would be the actual line there. So this point, and this would be on it like that. Or actually this could be, but again, it's just skew, so it could be a different direction, but it's not parallel, like that. It just means we can't use a cross product, we could use uh, the dot product. And then once we get the equation of the plane of uh, one of them and the point on the other one, and then we could just use the basic distance from a point to a plane formula, which is D right here equals the component of B vector connecting two points on the plane. I mean, uh, two points on the, the lines and then onto the normal vector of uh, either plane like that. Because they're both going to have the same normal vector because they're both parallel planes. And we'd use a dot product uh, N dot B divided by N like that. And uh, note that the distance formula is just a scalar projection of a vector connecting the two lines onto the normal vector. And again, the normal vector we can uh, determine from the uh, cross product of the two 
of uh, uh, yeah of the two direction vectors. And uh, yeah, and I'll put this right here uh, uh, via the cross product. All right. So and then uh, the distance will use a dot product. So just to illustrate all this. Let's just draw this out to make it more sense. So let's say you had a uh, it's going to be two parallel planes. So it's like this. These are the skew lines. So we have a, a plane like this. And let's say we had a line L like here. So this is going to be your line L1. And it's going to be on P1. So P1 plane and line L1 like that. And then we had, let's say, our second plane and it's parallel like this. And let's say it goes something like this. So it's skew and it's going to be our L2. And this is going to be our P2 plane like that. All right. So we have that. And let's say we had a point P, uh, I'll call this P1. Actually, this is plane one. I'll call this, yeah, I'll call this, I'll, I'll, I'll call this plane one. <laughs> just so it's, uh, plane one, just because we're not going to use that uh, plane uh, there. Plane two, we're not going to actually be using that term there. So we'll, oh, this is going to be P1 point like this. And let's say you had a point uh, on here, P2. Like this is on, on line two. Yeah, well, we have that. Let's uh, actually move this around uh, here. Let's go P1, and this is going to be on it like that. And let's, let's draw a line connecting it. I'll draw this actually in, in uh, maybe use a different color, red. So I'll, I'll draw it in red. And yeah, so we go from P1 to P2. This is going to be our, I'll call this P1, P2 vector. Like that, yeah. So then the distance is going to be from here. It's going to be the uh, along the normal vector. So this is going to be right angles uh, like that, and it's going to be right angles as well from this to that. So this is going to be our distance d, like that. But it also has a normal vector. I'll draw this in black. Uh, the normal vector uh, it goes like this. Oops. Uh, so normal vector is going to be from here. Uh, it's going to be like this. This is going to be our normal vector and not, I mean, and vector. And this equals to using the, we need the two direction vectors. So this is direction vector is going to be v1 of the line. And this one is going to be v2. So this is just going to be, uh, the normal vectors is just going to be, I'll, I'll actually, this is d, I'll try this in, in uh, black like that. And same with this one here. Just, I just drew the line there just so it's uh, different from this plane there. So P1, P2, like that. And this is going to be uh, V1 cross product V2. And you can uh, see that you can put, uh, stack them on top of each other because uh, we're looking at along this direction of the normal vector. And you can you can uh, see that visually. You just put the V1, just stack them on top. Uh, if this is a V2 like this, and then V1's across there, normal vectors is going to be, yeah, this is the normal vector. It's just going to be right angles from uh, of both of these lines. That's going to be a cross product like that. And then, uh, yeah, the distance is just going to be the scalar projection of this uh, P1, P2 along the D, uh, right there, uh, along the normal vector. So that's the distance. So distance is going to be equal to, uh, this is going to be, I'll write the, in that, uh, the vector, uh, scalar vector format. So component of, uh, is going to component along the normal vector N of the P1, P2 like this, this equals two, it's going to be the uh, the projection of it. So the projection of this onto this, and that's just going to be using the formula. Uh, uh, again, this is just going to be uh, P1, P2 dot product, uh, the absolute value sign of it, of the normal vector divided by the normal vector. So the unit vector, this one, this one here multiplied by the uh, dot product. It can be viewed as multiplication of the, the unit vector there. Uh, uh, this is distance. Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. And uh, yeah, then this is just this is uh, just the formula for the distance uh, between a point and a line right here. This is the B. Uh, I just called it P1, P2, uh, the vector. And this is the N dot B. It doesn't matter if you have N dot B or this, this is also equals to B dot N. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't matter which direction you use it at. So N dot B then divided by the N. Oh, yeah. And then you get this formula and so on. So I will just uh, bold this right here. So that's our distance right there. Yeah, and that's the distance between two uh, skew lines, just using parallel planes and so on to get solved up. And watch my earlier video on this one as well. Again, I'll, uh, this will be in a sections uh, playlist.